Uh, we are about a month away from area school districts going back to class. And with that in mind, the Wisconsin School Bus Association recently sent out a statistic uh, showing a dramatic increase. Uh, News 19's Chandler Brindley spoke with the director of transportation at the West Salem School District and La Crosse County Sheriff about this troubling issue. It's a statistic in the Badger State that continues to rise. Drivers not adhering to the rules of stopping for a school bus. Wisconsin School Bus Association conducted a one-day survey with school districts and transportation companies around the state. The results show a jump in the number of people illegally passing a school bus. We've had over 100 violations last year alone, and these are, these are ticketed violations. Of the 1,223 school bus driver reports, 463 passes were observed in one day. That is an average of 38%, an 8% increase compared to 2023. Makes me very nervous. I, it's one of the things that bothers me the most and my drivers. We've had a couple of, of uh, close calls um, in the last few years, and, and it's not good. It's, it's, it's very disheartening for the drivers. According to the statistics, in a 180-day school year, the annual school year impact is at least 926,676 illegal passes. Klein says over the years he's put two and two together as to why there is an increase. In all the years I've been doing this, I've come to the conclusion that uh, our biggest problem is probably lack of attention, and the lack of attention usually comes from a device. If you're given a citation for passing a school bus, the fine is $326.50. This is one of the more unique and hefty fines in Wisconsin. Wisconsin law allows them to submit a report to law enforcement with the date and time that it happened, their information, and the plate number from the vehicle. Many years ago, though, you didn't have cameras in buses, so it was just the plate number. Now, oftentimes, you get a video along with it, and it will show the red lights flashing and the vehicle passing. The owner's liability piece is that in Wisconsin, you can issue a citation to the owner of that vehicle without knowing who was driving it. One of the few laws like that we have in the state. Work continues to be done with law enforcement and communities to reduce the threat and ensure the safety of Wisconsin's school children. Reporting in West Salem, I'm Chandler Brindley, News 19. All right, thanks Chandler. The Wisconsin DOT says drivers must stop on the street or highway 20 feet or more from any school bus that has stopped and is flashing those red warning lights.